YouTubers, welcome to the Anonymous Miner channel. And today I'm going to go over how to auto start your miner. You see right here I've got 937.44 giga hash going on my, my MSI RTX 3060. And you know, my computer decides, well, let me auto update, right? One of these things. A restart is required to finish installing the following updates. Your device is scheduled to restart outside of active hours. And it's like, don't worry. I got you. I'm going to restart while you normally don't use it, right? But now my 937 giga hash, which by the way is a joke in case you didn't notice. So my 937 giga hash is going and I'm like, sweet, it's time for bed. Let me go to bed. And my computer's like, again, don't worry. I got you. I'm going to restart when you're not normally using me. So all night, my computer is not mining for me. And so that really, I don't know about you, but it, it really upsets me. I like my miner running all the time, that's what I like it to do, and it makes me money, it's my little money printer, so I want it to run all the time. So today, I'm going to show you how to auto start your miner, in case it decides to do one of these little updates, or maybe you ran out of power, maybe you lived in Texas, I don't know, but maybe you just want it auto start, so you can actually go into your BIOS settings on most motherboards, and make it so that when you receive power at the... ATX power supply or on the power supply of your computer it will actually boot up so that's one of the things that I will show today and then the other things I'm gonna go over is how to auto start your miner with T-Rex and how to overclock it and so Seb Vintech here he's another youtuber and he's actually got a couple videos on how to overclock your graphics cards or your GPUs using T-Rex Miner. Now there is a couple caveats and one of them is that you can only do this on NVIDIA cards for now. So this will only work with T-Rex Miner and NVIDIA cards. Um, I would not recommend doing this using parts of this video to auto start other miners because the overclocks may not get applied. You can overheat your graphics cards or you can damage them and it may not be warranty. Um, so just be aware of that especially if it's a whole rig, uh, you have a really hard time explaining to EVGA or whoever it is, you know, oh, just eight of my graphics cards overheated and died. So be very careful about that, and that's why I'm again using T-Rex Miner and the settings that Seb Fintech showed us, and then I'm going to combine that with a couple other um, ideas or setups. So without further ado, let's get into this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab um, T-Rex Miner. And I like to go to Ethermine, or I'm going to use Flypool today. It's part of Ethermine. Uh, here's Ethermine here, right? Ethermine.org. And I'm going to use Raven today. That's one of the things I'm going to mine because I'm trying to get that 937 gig hash on my 3060. Don't forget about that. So we're going to click Start Mining here. And that's going to bring us here. It's going to give us the um, pool information here. And it's also going to give us a link to download T Rex Miner. So if you were to click on this, it'll take you over to bitcointalk.org. I'm actually logged in. You can see uh, Hello Anonymous Miner. And you're going to scroll down here, and you're going to want to grab this uh, zip file right here. This one is for Windows right there. It's distinguished by that win.zip. This one's for Linux. So you're going to want to grab that. You're going to download it. And we're going to go start modifying our batch file, or the start file for this miner. So, I already have it. This is version 20.4, you can see right here. And there's a couple of things we're going to need to start doing. So, in order for T-Rex Miner to apply the overclocks, it needs to be run in an administrator mode. Now, the issue with that is you need to right-click it and run as an administrator. So, if I do this real quick, you may or may not have seen that. Probably not, because I'm recording. But it flashes for just a second, and it doesn't open. So... There are two different ways to do this. Only one of them will really apply for the auto start. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to this T-Rex application right here. It shows the little T-Rex dinosaur. You're going to right click on it. You're going to go to properties. You're going to go to compatibility here. And you're going to click right run this program as an administrator. And then click apply. Okay. So now that will run as an administrator. So if I click up here on Raven, I can now double click on this. And you see how it opened two command prompt windows? So it is using the settings from this command prompt window right here. And it's going to apply them and run it in T-Rex back here. Okay? So it is running it as an administrator with those settings. So we're good there. Now, I, these are not my settings yet. These are predetermined. So let's go back and let's modify these settings in here. 
So I'm going to copy this because I'm going to make my own. Okay, and then I'm going to go paste. I have a copy. I'm going to rename this now. Let's go Raven uh, Fly Pool Auto Start. All right. Now, the other way to do this, is, to run this as administrator, that is, is I can go in here and I can edit it. Okay. And I'm going to, in the beginning here, now this is what Seb Fintech shows you. You're going to come back over here to Properties for T Rex, and you're going to copy this section right here, this file path. Okay, if I can click it. Oh, there we go. I think that giga hash in the background is uh, killing it. So, we're going to come back over here. And right here in the front, you can see my cursor is uh, blinking right here. I'm going to hit Control plus V, and I pasted that in there. Now my cursor's here. I added that file path. We're going to add a backslash in between that and trex.exe. And then we're going to add parentheses. And this is, again, in Seb Fintech's video. So I appreciate that, Seb, for showing us that. And then we're going to come over here, and I'm going to modify. Well, actually, let's close this and save it. And if I show you now, I can right-click this and run as an administrator, and it didn't work. So I did something wrong. Okay, so now I can show you, I'm gonna right click and I can run as an administrator and it runs it as an administrator. So that's important to, again, it needs to run as an administrator to apply the overclock settings. Otherwise it may not be able to apply the overclocks. So now we have two different ways there that we can run it. If I double click this, it'll pull up a second command prompt window. And this will be important later um, because if I know that the second command prompt window is open, I know my computer restarted. And if I come in here and run this myself, and I right click and run as an administrator, I only have one command prompt window, see this? So it's um, a little clue and you'll be able to know, did my computer restart, if you have two command prompt windows open. Okay, so we're going to close that again for now, and I'm going to come back in here, and I'm going to modify the pool information so that I'm actually mining to my address. So, first thing I want to change is this right here, and again, I'm going back to fly pool. So let's get back to fly pool over here. This is fly pool's address. And it says port 3333 right there. I'm going to remember that. We're going to paste that in there. I'm going to put a colon and 3333. Okay, and then my Raven address right here. Let's grab my Raven address. It's in one of my links. Here we go. This is again on that gaming computer that I bought and made a video about. Um, I will be doing an update soon. Sorry guys, I'm all over the place. Alright, paste my Raven address in there. This rig ID is a 3060. And then we're going to come back to the back end. Okay, now this is where we come back to Seb Fintech's channel. He's got these videos about overclocking it, um, how to overclock your GPU and everything. Your GPU, your CPU, everything in... Sorry, your GPU and memory and everything else in um, T-Rex, okay? And he's got these other videos. I recommend watching him. He does a lot more um, detail about it and how to use all these features. I'm going to just set this up real quick because it's not the purpose of this video. So I do have the readme file open over here. I'm going to use this feature right here. Uh, this is locking the clock. I am going to copy this and... In Seb's videos, I actually didn't find any information about um, the 3060 non-TI overclocks. So what I actually did is I opened Afterburner here, and with it mining, I watched this right here. And my GPU was bouncing around between 1480 and 1520 with my clock settings here. Okay? So that tells me that it's about 1500, so I'm going to lock my clock in here at 1500. So I need one space in there, one space, 1500, okay, and then we need to do the memory clock, the fan, and everything else. So I've got core clock, let's come back here to my help file, 
Um, let's copy fan. I need fan settings. Okay. Control V to paste again, and I'm going to leave my fan at 80%, because if it restarts, I don't know what's going to happen. And then we need to grab memory clock here. Alright, memory clock is going to be the same thing that you set it as an afterburner. So mine's 1100, we're going to do 1100. Okay, and then the last parameter that I need to set is my power limit, right here. So control copy, control paste, and then in afterburner it was set to 72. So we will set my power limit to, not 6, 72. And I believe that's what we need. Let's save that. We'll close this. And now, let's run this in as an administrator, and we'll see how that runs. Alright, I don't know how this is going to do with me recording it and at mining at the same time. I did hear the fan ramp up just now to 80%, so I'm pretty sure it is actually working. And it does appear to be working. It is mining. All right, so my file works. I'm gonna leave this alone for now. I'm pushing 20 mega hash while recording. Oh, sh I mean giga hash, giga hash. Oh man, I gotta close this. Okay. Now, that's the miner setup. Let me close some more of this stuff. Now we're gonna get into how to auto start this miner. So we are gonna need a couple of things. Let me get this back. T-Rex Miner. Okay, so this is the file, the bat file. See how it's a batch file? We call that a bat file. We are going to right click on it again and we're going to create a shortcut. And I need to grab that shortcut and I'm going to put it on my desktop for now just because it's easier. Okay, and then the other thing I'm going to show you is how to auto start XM rig because I also mine Monero. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is right click on this and make sure it runs as an administrator. Run as an administrator, apply. And then I also need to make a uh, shortcut of this. I've got a shortcut there. Good to go. And then I can come in here and I also want to put in that file path to run this as an administrator. So let's right click on the properties. We will copy this. Right. Control copy. Cancel, edit my pool, boom, okay, and then that, and then we put in the parentheses, and save that, and then let's make sure that runs, and it does, and it doesn't ask me a question anymore, and if I right click it, it does the same thing, I get two command prompt windows, okay, so we are good there. I now have two shortcuts, and I can actually just double click on these, and it does the same thing, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna hit the Windows button on my keyboard and the R button at the same time. And what that's gonna pop up is this run window right here. There is another way to get to this. If you type in on the search bar down here, run, it's the app run, okay? And you're gonna wanna type in here, shell startup. Okay, so it's shell, semicolon, I'm sorry, colon, start up. I can't type, but I'm sure you guys can better than me. So shell start up, pop that up, and here we go. So I already have something in here. This is um, XM rig. I am going to delete this. If there's anything else in there, it will auto start this. So what this is, is this is the folder in your Windows operating system that anything in here it will auto start so I'm gonna drag and drop both of these into there awesome so now as soon as I start up it's gonna auto start these two things now there's one more thing I know you're all saying but I have a password I have a password okay I got you so on this website here 
pure info tech, I will leave a link down below. This guy has a guide on how to remove your passwords. Uh, I tried this first one here. I will show you this right now. If I go into user accounts, um, so search for NetPLWiz on the control panel, right? NetPLWiz. And I messed up because I can't type. There we go. NetPLWiz. So I have it clicked here. Users must enter a password and name to enter this computer. I, if I remove that and I can apply it, I can sit here and apply it all day and it'll never actually work. It still asks me for a password upon login. Okay? Even though I do all this stuff, it doesn't work. It does not work. So I tried the second one where I actually went in and I made a second local account. I opened settings, I went to accounts, I went to my info, I signed in with a local account instead option and I followed this and this worked. My computer now auto logins, or logs in rather. So I can just turn on the computer and it logs in. So this is pretty much all you guys need. It is done now. Um, that's all you really needed to do is set it up. I am gonna show a video of me powering on the computer now and it auto start mining. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching the video today. I just wanted to do a little bit of an outro and uh, talk about one of our community members, Savage Mine. He's been in the hospital now for a couple of weeks, and a bunch of us are coming together to help him out. And um, so to do that, uh, there are a couple of donation places. I personally am donating some of my hash rate with a lot of other people to this address right here. I will have links down below if you guys would like to donate your hash rate. This is to help him out and his family with hospital bills and everything else um, because we really appreciate him as a uh, community member. So um, if you'd like to donate, that'd be great. If not, if you could just show your support with a comment or anything else and go look at Red Pet and the Mining's videos if you're looking for any of the other donations. And uh, thank you again for watching my video. I appreciate you all. Have a great day. And uh, see you next time.